A mega free medical camp held at Vidya Daini Model School, Santosh Nagar, under the leadership of Green India Challenge member and children's specialist Dr. Mark and Delu, aware Glencal Global Hospital. On this occasion, Dr. Mark and Delu explained to the students about the food precautions to be taken for the physical growth of children and cleanliness to avoid infections. Similarly, he advised the students that if they are physically and mentally fit, they will contribute to the creation of a healthy nation and excel in the field of education. Similarly, as a lover of nature, Mark and Deilu said that if we plant saplings to protect mother nature, we will save our health. Suggested to students, he said that health is wealth and prevention is better than cure from common cold to cancer. Any disease can be prevented with small precautions. Lady specialist Dr. participated in the program to provide medical services to the teacher. Thank you. So, at this time, you have to be healthy, it's a very important time. As your teachers, beloved teachers, they are struggling to make you better uh, citizens for the future uh, nation. And in terms of uh, education and your knowledge, उसके साथ में हम health के बारे में भी क्यों बोलता है कि ये health अच्छा है तो उसका कृषि उसका guidance अपने पसंद आप में fruit मिलने के लिए future में उपयोग रहता है। तो उसी के लिए हम I'm stressing again, you have to grow in your below 17, 18 years of your age only. After that we all know we stop growing in terms of height and weight. So in knowledge, it's always we can grow till our, uh, it's never ending, we should it forever for life. So it's, uh, it's good to have a healthy diet to keep your health, that is the first uh, point. You should have a lot of uh, fruits, vegetables and greens to keep you growing requirements. As um, you, need, you all know, like you are reading in classes from lower levels itself, minerals, vitamins, carbohydrate, protein, all these things which you are uh, reading will come from food so you should take healthy food so many of the uh, times now we are seeing children and many families uh, knowingly or unknowingly they're going for junk foods which you should avoid those are so part of life and uh, it's enjoyment chocolates all those things in childhood but those will be minor part of our daily schedule so you should go for healthy food you should listen your parents they will be telling a lot of things which is valuable but we, many times we ignore them and your teachers, of course, along with your subjects, they're teaching about your healthy diet, which again, uh, many of the times, as myself, as a student time, I used to ignore, because they say, say every day, and you, we feel it's not so important. By the time you realize you will be more than 20, and you will be, your height will be fixed. So there's no use realizing when late time. In a right time, realizing any, this thing is useful to the future. So, so second thing, hygiene. Like many infections we get because of lack of hygiene, dust or uh, hand, uh, lack of hand wash, lack of uh, proper brushing, all those things, uh, good habits, what we are not following, creates infections to us. That infections again, I told, suffering loss of school days and lot of, a lot of money wasted and it's a growth, again it reflects on the growth. So you should have a good hygienic habits. And uh, especially in adults and girls, our gynecologist is paid up also. Maybe in a next, uh, she is going to come now. And also next to frequent visits, we will plan in a different way. In a different uh, uh, categories of children, we will make it. And about adults and education and hygiene, we will address soon. And we will have a checkup also. Any problems, dental problems or any other uh, general health problems there, you can feel free to share with us. We will simply guide you. And if anything needed, we will again request you to come to our hospital also. We will have a special consideration on the P also when we do in the camps and they come to camps and we will assist you there also. It's very near Elbi Nagar, Bairamal Guda uh, bus stop. Aware global hospitals, anybody will address because it's a more than uh, four decades old hospital, corporate. And our uh, uh, PR boss will be in touch with your principal sir and utilize the facilities, you can pass it on this good word to your parents also, any health problems, feel free to come and through your principal, through a proper channel you come, we will have a special consideration for your people. So I, uh, as a part of our responsibility, we should a lot, this nature given us a lot, you know, without we asking and the air that we breathe, not in our factory or not through our money, it's like a nature through plants and 
many sources which we have in nature without any cost we are enjoying. So it's our uh, responsibility from the childhood. You are not children anymore. You are grown up. You are small adults, small responsible citizens. So that's small. Adds one more word, smart. So being a smart and small, you should have a responsibility is also coming along with your growth. So as a part of uh, uh, giving back to our nature, something what uh, is our responsibility in your uh, house premises and also your school premises or wherever possible, you try to plant some plants so that the soil will be saved, fertility of soil and also nature will be multicolored, greenerized with different colors of the nature, beauty of the nature will be linked with the greenerization. As you all know, like uh, global warming is going on, a lot of pollution is going on out of control and so much of vehicles and uh, plastic, all those things, unnecessary materials which we are not able to control. But the only thing I believe uh, as a children specialist and also as a uh, green globalization, a uh, uh, lot of work I have did along with Green India Challenge, you must have here Green India Challenge, that is uh, to save the globe, to make the green globalization. So I am also part of that the team so i feel and i as uh, many schools more than 100 schools i have made the challenge to the students uh, regarding the uh, green globalization so what challenge is that like is like you are 10 years or 11 years or 12 years whatever your age now so the, the birthday celebrating today means like you request your parents to bring 10 or 11 whatever your age uh, correlates that many plants you buy so tell them to buy small five rupees plants also okay to give to your friends if you feel your parents are little uh, financially little lesser than the uh, others or if you feel father is a good job and he can buy any am amount plant you buy a 500 rupees ornamental also but the number should be your birthday it should re relate and uh, in the 10 uh, your 10th birthday if you're celebrating nine plants you give to your beloved friends or teachers or uh, colleagues and one plant you should plant that day so that means like uh, as a time it goes if you follow this every year thousands of plants you will be planting and you will be doing something to the nature which remains in nature forever because we are not forever but the good works we will do will remain forever because you have a lot of good teachers i see here a lot of seniors and the children also very smart here i'm very surprised to see all smart boys and girls being around and i'm talking to them all the bright uh, faces i can see and I'll wish them a very bright future. Whatever things they will select, if they want to become doctor or engineer or um, uh, teachers, uh, any noble thing, all, all professions are noble. So whichever, I wish them a bright future. We are very grateful from Vidyadani group on behalf of the staff, students and the parents that Sir and his team from uh, Global Hospitals have come Mark and uh, you know, given us a lot of valuable inputs regarding health and hygiene particularly the challenge to grow trees on your birthday. It is a very interesting challenge which will help you children who are the future citizens of this country to number one, save the environment, number two, have clean air, number three, save the soil, number four, ensure that the future generations have enough food to eat. Now, apart from what Sir has said, I would also like to add one thing that there is one more health issue which is prevalent now, which is the use of mobile phones. And it is very common in students of your age. So the eyesight health is also very important.